Hey guys, Renee and Casey here with Bargainer's Thrift Store. Or Thrift. <laughs> There's no more store. Anyway, so we're here to pick up the last part of the fall store, uh, storage units. Dusty storage units. So we're going to work with the worst one first. So actually, um, yeah, we're picking up, well, one is completely clean out four. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to take stuff that we think is good and then leave the trash behind and at the end we load up all the trash. But at the same time, we're gonna give you guys previews of stuff that's in here. Here, come down here so I get these doors. So these are Jeep doors. Somebody actually told me they're expensive, so I don't know. We're just gonna keep on researching. Obviously, you've been sitting here for a long time. But uh, we'll see, maybe we can sell those, maybe not. But what I wanna do, load up these two cheap doors. And this is probably gonna be trash, this furniture right here. So we're going to give you guys a preview of more stuff that's in here. We want to see what this... He said this was supposed to be a great back thing from a bar, but I have my doubts, but let's see. Oh, here's another cool scale. Toledo. I don't know, I love old scales. Even though all these need a little bit of work, but people were strong. You want to take that one, Casey? Lots and lots of dust. <laughs> so he said this is the shell from a bar from Virginia City. Wow, what is this? This is interesting. Oh, you can smell the age. You smell the age? Yeah. Can you just smell it? Is it haunted, guys? Leave in the, leave in the comments different. if you think it's haunted. Is the conjuring right here? Ah! So this is supposedly from the 1800s. Wow. I don't know if we can do anything with this, to be honest. Because there's no shelves. I mean, it is cool, but... Stick a dead body in there. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, there's a bunch of boxes back here. Well, it's really interesting. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, I mean, I just don't know what to do with that. I mean, you could buy swords and display your swords. Well, that would be pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Right? Or you could put guns, like, you know, vintage old guns. Anybody want to buy this to display their weaponry? Or put a know. dead we, body. We might just put this to the dump, unfortunately. I hate doing it because really? it's like. Really? I think it's, it's good. All right, we'll keep it at the wires. We'll see what we can make out of it. Let us know if you want to buy it. <laughs> uh, it's a top piece. It was. It was part of something else, obviously. All right, let's uh, let's look at some of these boxes here real quick. Give you guys a preview, so we'll decide good or bad. Okay, this is all brand new light bulbs. This is the last unit to take this one. Or do you want to look and I'll look? This says no thanks. This was the last unit we bought, remember guys? I said this one is kind of going to be crap. I mean, I wasn't that confident about it. Yeah, Coke machine. Oh, car. That car is not good, I know. Um, but we bought this just in case. There's a bartender in there. These used to be really expensive, but now they're like 40, 50 bucks. Hallmark. So this is gonna be full of knickknacks. You guys will see there's another another monkey down there. You guys will see full okay, on, You guys will see full unboxing of this stuff. Here, I'll take it, just open up. You guys will see full unboxing of this stuff. <laughs> Ooh, I see you. You guys will see full unboxing of this stuff in like videos at the warehouse. So we're just showing you top boxes. This is gonna be trash. Lip glass. Hands. Oh, here's some extra lips if we find boxes with no lips in. Oh, this one's actually a brand. What does that say? Um, Thomas or something? What is Thomas that? Thomas Dream? Or James or something? Thomas James, yeah. I don't know, I've never heard that brand. They're looking at a whole bunch of records. And sealed, so sealed records. I don't care what record it is. Pretty much for sealed records, you get 20 bucks these days. Nickel music. This is all the stuff. So, heavy box. Need help or you good?
but this is gonna be our hardest unit today because we really haven't done anything here yet. Just such fragile. See, I mean, this stuff is not expensive, but this. Oops. There's the profit. Aww. Mickey, it's okay, but this whole cup box is gonna be full of stuff like this. No, I don't. That's bad for my diet because then I don't want M&M's with my coffee. Alright. Now we have room to move this over and see what these boxes are back here. It already sounds haunted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about this piece. I mean, it's it was the top. Oh, the doors stuff. opened up by itself. Huh? The door opened up by itself. Yeah, mommy's probably right. It's probably hard to Pretty sure I locked it. <laughs> Another horn. Two. Oh, two horns. So a lot of times these are at least a hundred bucks on eBay usually. So like I said, right now we're trying to take the stuff that's good. This is going to be our hardest unit. And then we'll uh, leave the trash here. We'll put the trash at the end tomorrow morning. I'm going to make a dump run really quick. That stuff is in here. This kind of gives you an idea. We're going to do complete unboxing. I can't read that. Rare Mark. Huntley Miller. I don't know if you see that Germany, you know, that's no good. So these are probably all teacups and sauces in here. Semi life trio. Okay, that's a cool box. I mean, this stuff is money. Hey, can you want to show the next box? Or I can take it. You just want to show the boxes. Scary spider. Uh, this looks like an old Pyrex container. Oh no, just an old container. Food baskets down there, so just dishes. This stuff would have been great when we had the store, but I mean, it sells on eBay too, so we're gonna expand obviously in all kinds of new categories. More dishes. More dishes. More dishes. Wedgewood. Looks like a whole set. So all the stuff you guys see. Actually, loose porcelain is good money. Here, this one's heavy. Another one. More dishes. Hey, go get yourself a dolly stack full of Ironstone. That's cool. I mean, the dish is actually good. It's not that exciting to me. The last one. Dishes? Dishes. How did you know? I'm just a lucky guesser. That's a good 20 bucks in the swap and quick. What is it? It's police. Oh. So. Still doesn't really answer what it is, but I can take a guess. Huh? Still doesn't really answer what it is, but I can take so a guess. So, like, you, I don't, you can hook it up and then wench it. It's like a wench. It is a wench. Oh, to, like, lift up a car? Like well, I, I don't know if this as a car depends on the weight, but this is just clothes and paperwork. This is trash. So this is going to be junk. It says kitchen on it. Is it true? Kitchen. This is like Fenton. More class. Clear class is never it good. It smells like alcohol on that one, right? It does, yeah. Oh, okay. Just making sure. There might be a liquor bottle in here somewhere. Is that what happens when you're having a seizure? You smell wine or something? Or is it toast? Uh, I don't think it's seizure. I think it's drunk. All right. <laughs> 
We've been here five minutes. I'm already filthy. Well, that's why we left the business. Oh, yeah. I love it. Just in case you help with that. Look at that. Ready. Uh, I have to I mean, all the dishes are, look at this. This is Limoges, Harvard. So that's gonna be a bunch of stuff that's probably gonna go in today. Last one. And it's dishes again. So pretty. Okay, well, let's see what's in here. Like, the dishes, with those Mm -hmm. I, I can't go through it though because I have the camera. Uh, yeah. It's right, not 99 cents. Uh, let's do this one outside. Here, put up the gate a little bit halfway up, sec. This is probably going to have to be a tough box. Okay, this is good. What is it? I don't know. But I feel like it might be exciting. It's. I'll switch sides over here. Oh, it's a sled. That's what it is. Yep. It is a sled. Woo! It says Teeth Tots Toys. T T. Oh, um, Tots Toys, right? They give to the children. <laughs> no, that's not what it is. It is another piece really? of here. Oh, this looks even cooler. This looks like old cast iron. Actually, you know what? If you guys want to find out what this is, check this out. Oh, that's like an old. Tricycle horse. Yeah, that looks scary. That's probably cool. If you guys want to see this, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like, and we'll have unboxing videos where we literally unbox every one of these boxes. Because guess what? In order to sell it, we have to check it, right? So make sure. That's Are we taking these or are we trashing these? You know, we threw away the dinosaur one. It was brand new with price tags. And That's stupid. I would have been great on the swappy. I know. I told Tosia we must have been exhausted because at the end of the day, we That's put it in the there. trash and we could have probably gotten 20 bucks for it. Casey said it was evil. It sold for 30 at Home Depot. It <laughs> no, had the brand new price tag too. Yeah. I thought about it later the next day. I was like, why did we throw that away? That was so dumb. <laughs> so, Kate, Halloween stuff actually sells great. Ooh, there's another machine back here. Hopefully it's good. So see, this is how our most hard, this, this unit we have to work the most and we're actually like a third in already. It's not that bad. We've worked harder. Oh yeah, trust me. So here, this is all old Lionel trains. From Lionel American Flyer. And we got a bunch of old trains. This is not that old, this is plastic. This is pressed steel. So, you know, that's probably like at least a hundred bucks in here. This track sells too. So, I got, it. I got this one from heavy. All right, what you want to show us? Let's see what's in the next tub. Blue glass. It's all good Actually, most of the dishes that I see are all good names. I mean, it's old stuff. Yeah. What's this one say? I don't know. Let me see. Porcelain. My, my eyes aren't young enough. Yeah, see the porcelain, semi porcelain. Houston, um, England. Phew. That's Excuse a nice me. piece of carnival class. Hold up. Pull it down for me. And make sure hold the camera steady, Nana, because otherwise it doesn't look like that. And it's not, I don't know what that is. I think it's pretty. Yeah, we think it's pretty. Okay, it's on here. Okay, these are uh, chandeliers. Which we're gonna put those on separate to put on top, but what's in the box is even better. And one's going in my room. Yeah, stuff inside it's way better. This is actually probably worth money. Fort Math, probably. But that right here, pressed steel, yeah. This is all pre war. Wow. Hey, you can leave the mats here to put on top of this to protect them. So check this out. So I haven't looked these up what they work in this condition. But I talked to one friend of mine, so these are like usually turn of the century a lot of times, and they're just very hard to get. And people buy them like that. And then this is actually a kid's toy, so you would ride on this, the little baby would sit, hold on here. This is pretty cool. Like this is, you know, probably 1930s and earlier. This is pretty crazy. Almost 100 years old. Yeah. 
I, I don't know what they're worth in this condition. If I had to guess, they're three, four hundred dollars in the box. If you guys know, leave a comment. If you see some on eBay, send me a link. But uh, those are cool. People like stuff like that. Uh, okay, let's see what else we got down here. It's probably gonna be dishes. Dishes. Clear dishes. Silver. Yeah, these, silver. these are not silver. But it's like cool decorator pieces. These are some really nice pieces. We'll unpack this later. Oh, those are those caddies. The what? The caddies. We've had them at the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jelly. Ooh, a nice chest set. This should be Civil War set. This is awesome. Maybe if we find the pieces, it'd be awesome. Uh -huh, if we find it. the pieces, we keep this, Nana. <laughs> Confederate States of America versus the United States of America. I like chess sets. Like one thing I always kind of wanted to collect was uh, chess sets. Okay, now we're gonna get to the heavy part right here. But let's see what's in here really quick. Trophies. Gun holster. Wood bowed. Uh, this is half trash, half good. We'll take it just to make sure to sort this down. Let me take this. It's going to be heavy. Heavy and awkward. You doing good up there, sir? Yeah. Is that full? Yeah. Well, this is a nice piece of furniture. It's... What is that? Make sure this you put pieces on oh, top of it. All right, we got three old pinballs. They obviously all need work. They're missing the top glass. But they're still cool. I mean, a lot of times people will just buy just the layouts, redo them. Or there's people that actually make coffee tables out of these. <laughs> but again, like, I'm happy if I average 100 bucks a piece on these. But I might get two, 300 a piece. We'll see. I have to do a little research. I'm not sure. This one's a stool pigeon. And it has a cool little center. 18 or under. And then that piece is pretty cool, too. They're all made in Chicago. Yeah, a lot of Chicago back then used to make a lot of stuff. I'm wondering here, this cool painting. Yeah, I like ship paintings. Beautiful. Signed. Signed. So it's European because it's signed on the left rather than the right. Is that true? Uh, you told me that one time. I don't think so. Oh. Because more, it just decided that the artist prefers it. I mean, I don't think that's a rule. Oh. I was like, really? Interesting. <laughs> Holly Davidson back. So Holly Davidson pieces, well any motorcycle pieces, always good. These are just dishes, Gibson. This is probably crap dishes to be honest. Look at that showcase in the back, love it. You see it straight back? Mm-hmm, pretty. Does this still have salt in it? Nope. Yeah, I don't need it. <laughs> Actually, a little bit. That's the case. Right there. Hold out the little showcase right here. She's so, pretty. guys, this is not as popular anymore, but this is probably like late 1800s, early 1900s, turn of the century type of stuff. Uh, it's cool. Look at the feet. Yeah. Look at the feet. Show the feet. And that it's glass behind on the sliding glass doors. That glass behind has to hold us. That's a beautiful piece. So this is by far means not a fast seller, but we actually gonna take this to a warehouse. We're gonna clean this up and I'm probably gonna put this on eBay for like $2,000 or best offer. And it'll, it'll be a slow seller, but somebody that wants to do a really cool shabby chic antique store, or like we just filmed an episode for Storage Wars where the guy has nothing but cases like these. They're super hard to find. You're just not gonna find them. And somebody that kind of wants to go for that look is gonna buy that in a heartbeat. So, you know, worst case, I think we get a thousand bucks for it, but I'm just gonna do like a couple thousand or best off and see. And before I even do that, I'll check the market to see what it's going like. Just pieces like that you just don't find. What do we have here? So we found this tub. Renee's not that excited about it, but I am, because look at how fun her face Oh my is. God. She's freaky. I like it. Ah. Tishy. Tishy. 
Honestly. Those are haunted little things. I know. Which one's haunted? Very it's her. She's message. the vampire. Look at this. Oh, yeah, cool. Cash register. And they're like a game. But look, price tag right here. 95 and 95. Just for the one. The little blonde girl. Yeah. Dolls seems to be really expensive. Bro, check this out. So that's obviously the top of an engine. It says strip dominator. Right here. If you guys know what this is, let me know. I mean, I know what it is. It's the top part of an engine. That's the carburetor. So I think they were racing midget cars. Midget cars. Yeah, that's like a special. That's Holly Performance Carburetor right here. And it says H&M right here. Tell me if you guys know values of this. I'm guessing a few hundred. Obviously, it has to be cleaned. But that's a cool piece too. Nice little bonuses like that. You'll see what's in this box. I don't think there's nothing in it. But... Yeah, we already opened this one. Care Bears. Care Bears. Camera is Here. Some kind of come up for music. Signal automatic music amusement manufacturer. LA California. Cash drawer. Tadiana saw this earlier. Edelbrook air filter. And then, uh, I don't know if this goes with anything. You're not flying off the line, right? This has got to go. This, goes this got to go, yeah. yeah. So put that up. Here, this is just old. I'm going to go through this later, but I think a lot of this will be trash. What's in here? The Corolla advertising, old newspapers. Here, this is a box of really quick. A bunch of this pretty much trash. Sorry, Jack, it's not that high. Look at that stacking. It's so dangerous. This is nice. Midget car. And we showed this already in an earlier video. There's another one here. Cool stuff. Oh, it's just an old phone. Okay, this whole box is records. We'll take this. I'll sort this stuff to the warehouse. Yeah. No, didn't give this one. Oh, man. Yeah, that what? one's heavy. You're all here. I'm like, yeah. no. What do you think this is? A gas can. Gas can. Right? Hmm. Oh, gas can? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of cool. I feel like you could whack somebody with that in a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> This is another box, I'll check at the end. I think most of the stuff in here is kind of trash. G.I. Joe doll. <laughs> Since he owns a lot of G.I. Joe. Just guessing. Mm, more dishes, a lot of them broken. Check this out. Lots more dishes. This is part of the... Oh, this is part of a grill or something, cast iron. Oh, yeah, it goes to the bottom of the scale. It does. Yes, that's the Stanford scale. Good eye. That's the scale, Toledo, Ohio. How heavy is the scale? How much do I weigh? No, no. Oh, what is that used for? Okay, I haven't lifted it. What's that used for? Um, weighing. Like produce or huh. anything, produce, coffee beans, all the glass in the meat, maybe. Whatever. You know, we're gonna sort this now. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. And what's here? More dolls. You can put on the truck. Pedal car. 
Pretty old. You know, I want to find a really rare type of car. Since these guys knew what they were doing, that's probably good ones, but not a million dollar ones. Nothing in this one, but we did find one that did have something. What's in there? Uh, spotting scope. Winchester. Oh. That's probably at least 50 bucks. That's cool. It's a uh, telescope. No, it's for spotting when you go shooting. Oh. This is how you check if you got a headshot on there. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you check if you hit the target or not. All right, so this is I Love Lucy. So we looked at that. This is I Love Lucy. You want to put these in our car? You can take them out of the boxes if you want to because they're super dirty. This is I Love Lucy, just so they don't get crushed. This is empty. It's in there well empty. Some huge tools down there. Grace. And air tools, so this whole box is tools. So the trash just put right here in the beginning. You see, they're, they're pretty clean, right? So guys, these will go anywhere from 20 bucks to 100 bucks. Well, it was already a little fat. Good story, bro. Pop it back in. No, I was trying to pop it back in. Okay, I'll go through this at the end. Imagine if somebody came with sandals and yeah. that on the ground. Chevy stereo. Records, charters. Okay, I'll go through this one at the end too. Like some of these sort down at the very end what's good, what's trash. another video this is the second unit out of the four so another video another day here we go it's only dirty right up front it gets easier the further back we go yeah this is our second hardest unit we have left because there's a couple of big items but all those are on wheels these are boxes on the left i'm excited to see what's in those we're going to quick look real quick complete unboxings later on in the channel make sure to subscribe this whole bag right here this is all uh callaway Big Bertha's. So this is a nice little set. Here, we'll keep this at the end because actually I have my friend John coming over today if we make it back in time and he'll probably buy this. Uh, okay. So these will take. This is trash. You want to see if there's anything in here? Are you okay there? Yeah. I'm already okay. Oh, you're in that machine for like 30 minutes. Bathroom. It's just somebody. But it's a nice, nice army bag. Nice little backpack. Is it sellable once we clean it? Yeah. Okay. Bob's G.I. Joe's. You guys seen these before in another video. But that's got to be extensive footage later. I love Lucy, Bob's G.I. Joe's. Hey, you want to separate the Lucy just because the cases? And then these are all G.I. Joe's. Like a lot of these will bring 20, 30 bucks a piece on eBay. So, or you make lots. So, it depends what uniforms they have, what they were. Hey, the class has to be facing the wall, remember? If I was here, still like Huh? Do what? This thing's sticking out. Oh, okay. okay. Well, can you rip it out? Because it's already falling apart. I mean, probably just break it. Yeah, just break it off because we're going to sell it as pieces. Alright. If you can, if not, don't worry about it. Can shouldn't be in your vocabulary, it's a bad word. American Flyer Lionel frames. Oh, here, so here's another piece called Barber Chair. So these pieces are great, people buy these on eBay already. Check this out. There's uh, extension cords. 
And then this is for barber chair. Let's it's see. the base plate for the foot. It could be the foot or like a headrest, I'm not sure. I think it's the foot. It's the back. No, here you rest your head, I think. I'm not sure. But either way, that's probably at least 100 bucks. <sighs> this we showed in the video race, so there's some American Flyer stuff in here. Train track and trains. Good 100 bucks in this box. Just putting it inside the cabinet. Another Lionel piece. This is pre war. Ghost, ghost. This is uh, extension cords, and doors for different arcade machines, and chairs. We'll take this box. Halloween stuff, it seems. I don't want to see Halloween stuff. I want to see more G.I. Joe stuff. <laughs> that one. It says G.I. Joe. Uh-huh. Check that one. It says G.I. Joe. Yeah. This has, uh... Probably the G.I. Joe motorcycle, G.I. Joe figures, cars, boats, pieces, all kinds of G.I. Joe pieces. Yep. <coughs> Check this out. This is actually a barber chair. From like the 1800s, all wood, all wood on top of here. Um, I'm not sure yet if I can do anything with it because it's all in pieces. I'll probably put it aside, see, see if I can sell that to somebody. Uh, we'll come back for this later. Okay, now we're gonna go load the other units. In the meanwhile, you guys subscribe because you're gonna see a lot of unboxing from the boxes you haven't seen yet. It's obviously gonna be fun. Okay, guys, end of the day special. We showed this in another video. We said once we do unboxing, but. We can wait. It's probably gonna be junk, but. No, it, there's some weight to it. Yeah, it's really heavy. I think it's gonna be a bunch of these wax rolls or Edison records. Oh, yeah. Now that you said that, I was hoping it was gonna be jewelry. I told you, Edison oh. records. Yeah, because why would it be so heavy? Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Cufflinks. Oh, these are cool. Pistol cufflinks. Mm. Oh, yeah, these are like at least 30 bucks on eBay. Just because they're unique and cool. Forcing. That's a watch box. You got the watch. Ah, the rest looks like records. That's right, cool. Renee's amazing stack job. Yeah, redid it. This was all full the other day. So, what are we going to do? We're going to put the rest of the boxes in here. And then we're going to have some unboxing videos. We unbox all the boxes from this deal. The good thing is, the ceiling's like almost three stories high. So let's see, how high can Renee get it? <laughs> no. It's going to be as soon as the metal. Look at that. He's like, no. No, we got this truck load coming. Then we're going to sort it down again a bunch. And we'll do all the stuff that came out of this unit. We're going to repack it and have it here so ready for eBay. And then we're going to start working on toys. Like all this right here, all these boxes on top, those are all the little pet shop. And we have a lot more, but we're going to start with a load of those. And you know what? Right now, to be honest, we don't need to kill ourselves. So it's like... <laughs> Who needs to kill themselves? You don't look like you're killing yourself. <laughs> well, but you know what? What I'm saying, we used to have... We're time. all filthy. He's we, not the only one. We used to have times in our life, and I know a lot of my fellow storage buyers have it, where you're like just like six out of the seven days. Luckily, we have some good investments, and God blesses us with other deals. We don't have to do that right now. So when we're done with this, it might sit, and we'll come back in four or five days. You know, we don't have to kill ourselves. People say, why don't you get more stuff from eBay faster? Honestly, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day for us right now. We have a lot of, and it's not TV money, guys. There's one guy's like, oh, you just got your TV money. I'm like, I wish. I mean, the TV money is very small compared to other things that we got going on. So... You know, I just got sponsored for the World Series of Poker also, so I'll probably have to play that if COVID lets us, which I doubt it will, but whatever. And I just have a lot of stuff going on, so. And we have a lot of merchandise. We have like a quarter million dollars in sealed wax right now. Sports car collectors know what that is. So, 
It's like, it's not a hurry. We're also working on something else I can't talk about right now because I don't know if it's gonna work or if it's gonna go through, so I don't wanna talk about it. So stay tuned. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on though, so. It's like, you know, when we don't do eBay, it's like, this stuff is not gonna go anywhere. And the best part, I own this warehouse now. So I can be like one of those guys, just sit it, some stuff will go down in value. But you know what? 80% of the stuff that we have just goes up in value. So, I'm not hurting. You know, last year we were hustling with selling a lot of cards fast. If I would have taken all those cards and just put them in a warehouse like this, 300% up. But you know, we just constantly turn. And I didn't need the money, so. But I was like, yeah, it's fun. Let's turn, let's turn the cards. So, we'll see. Stay tuned. Check this one out. This, I'm gonna keep it upside down because it's hanging over. And this is like a weird material in the back. So this seems to be like the real deal. I don't know how good it is Casino de, Mer Casino de Paris. I don't know if that's an old movie or wasn't actually, I think that's an old movie poster, right? So it's hanging over. I'm not gonna put anything in front of it. Here's the, if anybody can look it up. But uh, I'll probably try to invert this part of the video so it's gonna look really weird. But I'll flip this whole thing upside down so you guys actually see it the right way. Okay guys, here's this engine. It just needs to be some kind of acid dip or something. It's from a 69 Chevelle. Careful, careful. Sorry. And then over here he said, what did you say this was? It's a police That's patrol. 1920s buddy L. 1920s That's buddy L. Anywhere from 400 to $1,000. We, like we have three or four of them like that. So these are parts to the 69 Chevelle. They also need to be like acid dipped. We don't know what the value is. But just so you know, that's there. And we're getting some hedgeway through the truck. Yay! Hey guys, we're unloading the truck still. And we found this piece right here. Seems to be something of mechanics, motor, maybe some like construction. I don't really know. I think it's a tried shaft. Tried shaft? Okay, that's a guess. But we're wondering, is it worth anything? Let us know in the comments down it's below. It's also from the 69 Chevelle. Oh, it's also from the 69 Chevelle that we showed you earlier. So. The motors. The motors. Hmm. Well, let us know if it's worth anything, please.